Welcome to my second tutorial for Hammer Editor. If you've taken my tutorials before, you should have this already built. This is my second tutorial. We're going to be going over props today. If uh, if you have this map still, please load it up. We're going to be using it. If this is my first tutorial you're taking and you wish to take the first one, there's a link in my video's info for this. All this is is a house surrounded by skybox, grass floor, dirt pile, and two spawns. I'm using Counter-Strike, but this pretty much applies to all Source Engine games, Team Fortress 2, and all that. Okay, we're going to do some prop work today. Alright, so grab your Entity tool, spawn an Entity. Now, press Alt to enter to bring up its properties. Then type in Prop Static. Once you type in Prop, you can hit the down arrow to cycle through all the props. Okay. Now, once you click Browse on your world model, it will bring up a model browser. Now, we're just going to do search for desk. Going to put a small desk in the house. And then, when you click on info over here, there will be a check mark by which thing it can use. This prop can be used as a dynamic or physics. A, di a dynamic, but not physics. Dynamic or static only. So, to static prop, press apply. Cut it into the house somewhere where you want your desk to be. I'm just going to rotate mine so it looks like it could be there. Okay, next thing we're going to do spawn another entity. Press Alt to enter to bring up your properties. This time you want to prop physics. Go to model. Then you want chair. Then pick a chair you like. I'm gonna go with this chair. Okay, it can be used as a physics, so just gonna put that behind there. Gotta place sit. Alright, now static props are like a brush, like this is. Meaning it won't move no matter what unless it is tied to something that will move. I'll go over that in in another tutorial sometime. Now, we're going to put a computer on this desk. So go ahead, put another entity in. Alt enter. And you're going to want to go to prop, physics, and then you want, so want to do computer. And then, as you can see, it's counting up how many props there are. And the right number is total, the left number is how many props have your filter word in it. So scroll through until you find what you want. Just looking for the computer tower here. Now you want to find the right one because some of these are gibs. And what a gib is, it's part of the model that's broken. Okay, this is what we're looking for. Office case B. So you grab that, oh, what's A? Yeah, A has wire, office case has wires right now in the back of it, so it's just meant to stay still, but we don't want to be able to smash the computer open, so use B. And then cut and paste it on your desk or wherever you like it. Okay. Now, place another energy on, we're going to add a monitor now. So this time, we're not going to use a normal prop physics. We're going to use a physics multiplayer. Then you want the monitor that has a screen on. You don't want the broken one. You want the right one. So we can break it in game. And then just flip it around so you got it how you like it. Then one more entity for the keyboard and mouse. And just use prop physics multiplayer for this. Now I'll show you the difference between props, physics multiplayer, and physics are for the normal keyboard. And CS Office, which is right here. And then cut and paste it. Let's put it in front of the monitor like normal people have with keyboards. Ok, 
Okay, and then you can copy and paste the monitor, the keyboard I mean, and put it right next to the keyboard. Press Alt Enter, and we're just going to change the prop. I'm going to put in a mouse now. So it's populating the list of props. And we want mouse. Okay, now that we have our mouse. Okay, it's right there. Now we have a little setup here. Alright, now we're going to put a picture on the wall. So, put in another prop. This is going to be a normal physics prop. So, prop underscore physics. Alright. To find the pictures, I usually just type in office, and then it will come up with props from CS Office from Counter-Strike. Then you can just grab a painting from there. Kind of scroll down until you find one. Alright, here we go. Okay, and after you have your prop, go ahead and smack it on the wall there. Now, you want to select your prop and go to its properties. Now, click on the flags tab, and these are what you can flag it to do. Like, you can have it break and stuff, but what we're gonna all we're gonna click is we're gonna click start asleep, which means it won't have motion when it first starts until it is shot or touched or something. Okay, we're going to go ahead and throw in one, well, two more things. Okay, there's one prop. We're going to go to physics. I'm going to put a bed frame in. So just type in bed. I just use the first one. Okay, and then the next one's going to be a physics multiplayer. You can just use the same bed model for it. This is just going to show you the difference between physics multiplayer and normal physics. Okay. That's pretty much it. Oh, I'll show you how to tie something to a physics. Okay, so go ahead and make a, a block. Pick a f material for it first. Just use metal. And then I want you to cut and paste it up on the roof so it'll slide down. Alright, make sure it's not in the roof. Alright, now, on this one, press Control T for tie entity. Tie to an entity. It's right there, or Control T. It'll bring up this menu. You want to type in F U N C Funk Fizzbox. P H Y S B O X. Alright, now this is a physics item. Now it'll just move like a normal thing. Alright, you can choose its strength. We're going to have it break after 50 damage. And you can choose your material. We're going to have it be metal. Alright, we'll also do uh, what a... about a ragdoll? Okay, spawn another one. Let's enter. Go to prop. Ragdoll. Now you can only use bodies for this. We're going to put a hostage in. Hostage. Okay. Okay. Now we have our hostage. Just paste him up on the roof and he'll ragdoll down. Okay, and I'll save it. Remember, there can't be any spaces. Mine is loading. Two. Then... Okay, now you gotta compile it. Okay, compiling. Okay, now we're in Counter Strike. Alright. The box fell down and there's a ragdoll. Shoot the box, it broke because I dealt 50 damage to it. Now this bed is a physics and that's multiplayer. You can jump on the physics bed and it won't put you off, but the multiplayer pushes you away. And for fun, the computer will break. So, enjoy it.